from ornithopods like Iguanodon evolved the hadrosaurs. Hadrosaurs, or the duck-billed dinosaurs, had much wider snouts and were very successful at the end of the Cretaceous period. One subfamily, the Hadrosaurinae, uh, possessed flatter heads as opposed to the crested Lambiosaurs. Uh, they possessed large numbers of uh, chewing teeth, uh, 40 or even 50 uh, teeth uh, per row and multiple rows. Edmontosaurus was one of the largest hadrosaurs, measuring up to 13 meters in length with a skull of a meter or so. Gryposaurus is another member of the Hadrosaurinae. It measured 9 meters in length. It was uh, last known from the late Cretaceous at around 75 million years ago, as opposed to Edmontosaurus, which is known to the end of the period at 65 million years ago. Gryposaurus is notable for its prominent nasal arch, whose function is not known, but which may have uh, supported uh, fleshy sacs uh, which made sounds during courtship.